Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we have an exclusive first look at the Mela Sigma 10. Zero emission all electric bus. Mela surprised the industry when it announced it was to launch a new electric bus range in November 2021. That electric bus range would cover lengths from 7 metres to 12 metres. So, so far we've already seen the Sigma 7 and Sigma 8. The Sigma 12 is due to arrive in July next year. Mela has already received significant orders for this range. The Sigma 10 utilizes a Dana motor with KTL batteries and it has DC charging with up to 210 miles range with a 252 kilowatt battery. Sigma 10 can be charged from 20% to 100% in just three hours. So there's an example here of the vehicles that Mella are better known for. So the Sigma range is a departure for Mella into bigger vehicles. But as you will read in the test drive video, it's all about providing size appropriate vehicles to the industry and what the industry requires. So obviously as time moves on, zero emissions buses are very important to the industry. So Mella has provided operators with the option of 7 to 12 metre buses. Tyres on this vehicle are Michelin X Multi 285 70R 19.5 with ZF rear axles. Hanover destination gear is supplied. So hidden in the roof line you also have a number of batteries which is shared between the roof line and the energy compartment. You also have the air conditioning built in up there as well. There's a rear spoiler fitted so that the air flow from the roof line is more effective. Flared wheel arches. In terms of the emergency exit on the vehicle. Has the slide down cover fitted. So you just press the button which releases the cover and pull the handle. Styling of the Sigma 10. It's very modern. Side marker lights also flash when the hazards or indicators are on. It's 
depending on which direction your vehicle's going. The wheelie safe system is fitted to these vehicles that monitor torque and pressure of the tyres. Front fog lights fitted as standard. We also have marker stroke indicators right at the very front of the vehicle on the corner panels. LED lighting above the entry door. Ventura doors are fitted. So stepping inside the vehicle, you have a manual wheelchair ramp, maximum load 300 kg, rather than air so quite an operation there's also the option to have lockable doors through these catches here moving to the interior of the vehicle LED lighting is fitted the interior is to a very high standard on the fit and finish. During the vehicle test drive, there was barely any rattles on this vehicle from the saloon. Lazzarini seating is fitted with leather covering and white stitching. To the rear of the seating, you have wireless mobile phone charging, USB ports, stop button and a reading light. Vehicles heating and cooling is blown from the roof vents. So you have quite a number of roof vents fitted in the coving. You can also adjust these. Air conditioning is fitted as standard. This video was filmed in December 2022, so it's fairly cold outside. Heating system has been very effective on a test drive. Warming the saloon of the vehicle in about two or three minutes. Wheelchair area, it's very easy to get to. You have two tip-up seats. And the arm for the wheelchair is on a swivel bracket. Passenger information screen. And you have space for luggage over the near side and off side wheel arches. Interior is light and airy as well. Have the emergency strike button to break the glass. Interior windows can be locked if you've got the air conditioning on.
Moving to the cab area, the driver benefits from a electric sun blind at the front of the vehicle. Smooth and quick operation, it comes down quite a long way. Interior lighting of this vehicle is also controlled from the touchscreen panel. So you can have it on various levels and you can have it white or blue. So it's ideal for nighttime driving, you can dim it to whatever specification the driver requires. Cab area is quite large and the driver's seat goes back quite a long way. The dash is adjustable. Got Valio air conditioning for the saloon. And automatic lubrication monitor, USB ports for the driver, emergency electric stop button, and we have the gear selector and vehicle ignition. Button for the doors. Vehicle is lowered by pressing this button here. Steering wheel adjustment is that button. Other suspension options are there. This vehicle is also fitted with a radio. Automatic headlights and front fog lights, rear fog lights selected from this dial. Then you have the touch screen for some blinds, interior lighting, power bay lighting, and heated front screen, which comes as standard. The driver also has his own air conditioning system, which has three vents for. So hear that in operation. Then you have the controller for the saloon, heat and cooling, CCTV monitor, PA system controller, and Hanover DG3 controller above the driver's head. So the vehicle can seat 35 passengers with no wheelchairs and 32 standing. Or you can have 33 seated passengers with one wheelchair and 29 standing. Dash binnacle is very clear. So you have your speed on the left and then how much power you're using on the right. There are a number of menu options you can scroll through. Indicators, horn and wipers are on the left. Quite a decent horn on this vehicle. Meta branded steering wheel. So overall the cab area is very good for the driver, visibility is excellent because you've got a curved windscreen so the air pillar is quite set back. View out the mirrors is excellent.
traditional handbrake instead of the electro pneumatic one which some drivers might prefer So overall very impressed with the vehicle, it drives very well, plenty of power, even up the steep hills it was maintaining 25-30 miles an hour, steering is very responsive and brakes smooth in operation. Keep an eye out on our YouTube video for further Sigma model test drives in the coming months.
Thank <laughs> you. 